Well, I kind of thought today was just gonna be my video about Jacksepticeye and having a positive mental attitude, but Gabriel Zamora just released his apology video and I have a little bit of a reaction that might actually surprise you. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So sometimes I take what's going on in the YouTube community and I try to teach you what you can learn about it to improve your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell because I make a ton of videos. I make so many videos. This is my second video today because that's how much I love you. That is how much I love your face. But anyways, anyways, I have a little bit of a series on here that I call How to Apologize because there's a lot of people who screw up and they don't know how to apologize. So I've been talking about all the stuff going on with Manny MUA and Laura Lee and Nikita Dragon and Jeffree Star and all that kind of stuff. And Gabriel Zamora just finally released his video titled My Truth. And this video, is long, all right? I actually put it on two times speed because, yeah, and it's kind of funny. If you've never done that, try it. It makes every video you watch a little bit funnier. Manny's apology wasn't an apology because there wasn't an, an I'm sorry in there. His initial quote tweet, I'm like, I wake up that Tuesday and I, I get a notification that he had quote tweeted me. And I'm like, wait, what? Okay, let me go to it. Thank you for owning up to it. And obviously I'm like, excuse me? So I screenshot it because I'm like, wait, Am I crazy? Thank you guys for speaking up. We took that photo with the intent of recreating Kylie's 21st birthday picture with her sisters. True. The reason I liked it was because it was a photo of the four of us being silly the night before. I didn't read the caption as I had been running around. He was in his hotel, just so you know, when he was liking and responded to it. But anyways, there's a lot to learn from this. So Gabriel, in my opinion, like just the context of who he is, and I don't know him very well. I'm just now getting introduced to the beauty community from my girlfriend and you know a lot of you who are now subscribed to me. Like you've seen what I've done about Jeffree Star and his series with Shane Dawson and stuff. But anyways, I don't obviously know him personally, but from what I see, like he's clearly young. And I don't know, like it's interesting because I've made some videos about Tana Mojo, but it sounds like Gabriel is actually learning from this experience. I don't I don't know what it is, maybe it's just intuition, maybe it's that gut feeling, but basically he did an excellent job apologizing. Like the first, I don't know, five to 10 minutes, you know, he's, he's really sincerely apologizing. He even puts links down below in the description to kind of learn about, you know, why these words are offensive that he used. And he talked about, you know, just this negativity and he, he talks about how he was being petty. And he's like, I don't even know why I did that. Well, he says he knows why he was hung over and stuff and that can make you a little bit irritable and all that kind of stuff. Now I will say, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. He talks about how he's gonna work on not being so petty and catty and stuff like that. But but like, if you've seen this video, when he starts going in on like Manny and Laura and like Nikita, like he gets really petty, mainly when he's talking about Manny. But you know what, Gabriel, I'll give you a pass. There's some stuff that you needed to get off your chest. Um, but yeah, this is a very interesting video. But anyways, what's the lesson that you can all learn from this? What is the lesson that you could take away from this? And it is really like, you gotta hang out with better people. You have to get better friends, please, 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 please. Like, I cannot stress to you, like I used to be a drama queen. Like, I still kind of like watching drama from afar, but I was the type of person who I loved being in the middle of drama. Like, I felt uncomfortable when there wasn't chaos going on. I was constantly, you know, listening to gossip and gossiping about people behind their backs. Like, it fueled me, but like, the thing is, you you surround yourself with these type of people and it's going to happen to you. And these are negative people, these are bad influences. So today, one of the ways I stay mentally fit is I cut those people out of my life. Like, I don't jump into the gossip. Like, yeah, obviously I have my opinions here and there and stuff like that, Here's what I always say, I love everybody, but I don't like everybody, right? But I don't hang around people who are constantly gossiping. And Gabriel is learning a value, value, valuable lesson at this very young age. Like you gotta watch who you hang out with because like here's the best analogy I can give for you. Like if you ever met like your boyfriend or girlfriend through cheating with them, right? They cheated on their boyfriend or girlfriend to be with you and now you're in a relationship. You cannot be surprised when they cheat on you. Like you met them in that scenario, now you're surprised that they're cheating on you. So in Gabriel's situation, like if all of you guys are gossiping and starting drama and talking behind each other's backs, like 
How are you going to be surprised that it's now happening to you? I hope that makes sense and I hope you can learn from that. Like this is why I made a video not that long ago about like get better friends, surround yourself with better people. Like I don't gotta worry about that anymore. One of the other things you could do to avoid gossip and drama is live your life in the best way possible. That way if anybody says anything about you, you're not ashamed of it. Like if you're just being a good person, if every day you try to be the best person you could be, you don't gotta worry about gossip, right? Now something that was interesting about it though, is that Gabriel talked about in that moment when he tweeted about Jeffrey, he was mad at Jeffrey's success, right? And I was actually gonna make a video about Jeffrey Star and success, but like that's very common. Like something I read in a book not that long ago, I think it was uh, Lost Connections by Johan Hari, I'll link it down in the description. But anyways, like we have to realize that success and happiness, that is an abundant resource. Like if somebody else is successful or happy, that doesn't take away from your success or happiness. But for some reason, the jealousy and the envy, it makes us feel that way. But anyways, back to what's going on with Gabriel and his friends. So Gabriel kind of had this like waking up moment and you, you could see it, you could see it happening or you could see he's already been through this. And basically what happened was, is that he didn't even know Jeffrey that well, but he's surrounding himself with people where all they do is talk bad about Jeffrey. And Gabriel talks about how he was hanging out with these people and now that he's assessing and evaluating the situation, they weren't really friends, you know, uh, even though Gabriel might not realize it, but he was kind of using them. They were huge beauty influencers and things like that, but he was letting them feed him information and letting, letting, them form his opinion about Jeffrey. And I think it's amazing that Gabriel, like, it's very mature of him to reach out and he reached out to Jeffrey and apologized and they had a conversation. And like, he, he started to realize like Jeffrey's side of the story, right? And here's something everybody needs to realize, okay? You are always the good guy in your reality, right? Like, no matter what story you're telling, you're always the good guy. You see what I'm saying? So like when Manny and Laura and all these other people were having bad relationships with Jeffrey, of course it's not their fault. People hate, people absolutely hate taking accountability and taking responsibility for this stuff. For any of you who have divorced parents and they kind of have a toxic relationship, it's almost like when your mother says nothing but bad things about your dad or your dad says nothing but bad things about your mother, it can form your opinion. And here's my suggestion to all of you, like, Form your own opinions of people. Like, I had to start doing this. Like, if people said, oh, that person over there is a jerk, or da 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 Like, sometimes we disagree with them so they don't say, I told you so, but like, we have to investigate for ourselves. Like, we have to find out, we have to get proof. That doesn't mean like, put yourself in a super vulnerable situation where they can really hurt you, but like, feel them out, test the waters, because you might be like, oh, this is actually a decent person, because that might, that person over there might be holding a petty, petty grudge. So anyways, this is all really interesting, and I might do more videos on this. Like, again, I'm not a drama channel, but there's so much that you can learn from this entire situation, from just, uh, you know, I talked about like being more mindful when you're tweeting yesterday. Um, there's so much about finding good friends. There's so much about like letting go of the past. I think I'm actually gonna do a video about that too. And the way there's like this like this mob mentality online because there's some mental health stuff we could talk about there as well. But anyways, like I would love to know your thoughts. What are your thoughts on the Gabriel Zamora apology video titled My Truth? Let me know down in the comments below. Or you know what? Let's do this. Let's make it two for. Or let me know in the comments below. How do you distance yourself from gossip and drama? Or are you someone who still likes to be plunged into it? All right, let's have a conversation down below. Anyways, that's all I got for you today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I make so many videos about mental health. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And I don't know if you noticed, there's a new name there. Somebody supporting the channel and so can you for as little as $1. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching. Get better friends and I'll see you next time.